Hey guys, today we are going to be making three brand new crock pot dinner recipes. Crock pot recipes are so easy and it's nice to just throw everything in the crock pot and then come back later and have your meal ready. These recipes have pasta or rice that need to be cooked right before eating as well, but that's such a quick task. Let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Starting us off today, we're making this tomato feta pasta. This reminds me of the TikTok pasta, you just make it in the crock pot. I'm adding in two chicken breasts, mine were partially frozen but that's okay, they will be just fine. I'm also adding a 14 ounce can of Italian style diced tomatoes with one block of cream cheese. I did kind of cube up my cream cheese just so it would melt a little bit more evenly. And then I'm also adding an 8 ounce container of feta cheese, one tablespoon of minced garlic, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of oregano, a fourth teaspoon of pepper. Optional, you can add a fourth teaspoon of red pepper flakes, a fourth teaspoon of thyme, and a fourth teaspoon of onion powder. After adding all that into the crock pot, use your spoon to mash up your feta block just a little bit. Try to combine it the best you can for right now, and then you'll just add the lid and let this cook on a high temperature for about three to four hours. After those three to four hours, everything should be all the way melted through and your chicken should be pretty much falling apart. I was able to just shred mine with my meat masher, but you can also take it out and add it to a plate and just use two forks to shred it, whatever you wanna do. About 15, 20 minutes before you're ready to eat, you wanna make sure you start some noodles and get those boiled. I just use some elbow noodles. Once those are cooked, you can drain them and add them straight into the crock pot and then give everything a really good mix together. Here's what my finished plate looked like. I served this with some broccoli and then over the top of everything, I just sprinkled a little bit of Parmesan cheese and just a little parsley. Up next, I made my enchilada beef over Mexican rice. This is one of our favorite dinners. So to my crock pot, I'm adding in a one and a half to two pound chuck roast, one small can of red enchilada sauce, one four ounce can of green chilies, three fourths a cup of beef broth, one cup of your favorite salsa, one tablespoon of minced garlic, half of an onion that's been chopped, and then for the seasonings, I'm adding one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of pepper, and about a fourth teaspoon of salt. After adding everything into the crock pot, I'm going to lightly mix this up the best I can, and then I'm just gonna add the lid, and this is gonna cook on a low heat for about eight hours. After those eight hours are up, I'm going to remove my chuck roast from my crock pot, and then I'm going to add in one can of drained and rinsed black beans. Over onto a separate plate, I'm going to shred my chuck roast up and remove any super fatty pieces. After shredding it up, go ahead and put it right back into your crock pot. Go ahead and give that a quick mix, make sure it's all combined with the liquid in there. And then we're also going to be adding some cheese in here. I'm adding in one cup of this triple cheddar cheese. Once that's combined, the other cup of cheese in the bag will actually be going over the top. So you'll just evenly spread that across the top and then add the lid back on. Give it about 15, 20 minutes and the cheese should be completely melted. 
While my cheese was melting, I went ahead and cooked up one of these boxes of rice Mexican rice. I like those just because they're quick and easy. And then this is what my finished plate looked like. I had my bean and beef mixture with my rice. And on top of that, I added some pico with some sour cream and some sliced avocado. The last recipe in this video, we're making this cheesy mushroom and chicken pasta. I started by chopping up a half a yellow onion and eight ounces of mushrooms. Into my crock pot, I'm adding in one large chicken breast, one can of cream of chicken soup, the sliced and chopped onion and mushrooms, a half cup of low sodium chicken broth. For my seasonings, I'm adding about a fourth teaspoon of pepper, a half teaspoon of oregano, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half teaspoon of onion powder, and then you'll just salt to taste. This is going to be a little hard to mix at first, so just do your best. You can always stir it later. And then I'm going to add the lid and cook this on low for about four hours. When those four hours are up, you should very easily be able to shred your chicken. It should be falling apart just like this. About 15 minutes before my chicken was done, I cooked up some pasta. This is eight ounces of pasta and I just added that right into my crock pot once it had finished cooking. I'm also going to add about a half cup to three fourths a cup of sour cream and one cup of shredded cheddar cheese and then I'm gonna get that mixed up really well. I did taste mine and decided I wanted to add a little bit more salt and pepper, but like I said, that is optional, it's to your taste. And then over the top, we're gonna melt another half cup to one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Just a little reminder, especially if you're new around here, I type out the recipes below and I have the exact measurements and all the ingredients so that you can screenshot it if you need to, but they will all be down in the description box. I put the lid on and let the cheese melt for about 15 minutes. And then this is what my finished plate looked like. Of course, you know, I added some parsley to add some color and the cheese is nicely melted. And I just served this with a breadstick, made it nice and easy this night. This pasta is very creamy with the sour cream added at the end. And if you don't like mushrooms, you could totally leave those out and just cook it without the mushrooms. Thanks so much for being here for today's video. If you have any videos that you would like to see, I would love for you to leave those down in the comments. Also, let me know what you think of these recipes, and if you make any, be sure to share them with me over on my Instagram account, or you can let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys back here on Sunday.